Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach here on a Friday night. Got a whole bunch of uh, packets ready to go out tomorrow. And uh, I'm very, very excited about hitting the biggest stage. All the domestic backers who got the book only sent. That'll be, the last few will go out tomorrow. And then uh, should be starting with the posters. The Ironsights, uh, the main one is real simple. It's just one has the book, one has the book and poster. I did that so I could learn about fulfillment, how to do it, you know, with the shipping and all that type of stuff. And I wanted a pretty simple uh, set. Um, might actually be a uh, model for the future. Um, uh, Jawbreakers has a couple different levels. I know some of these projects, they have like eight of them. I know there's Brian Polito one. I think that's kind of his bread and butter to have a lot of different perk options, but I just, just makes me dizzy. So uh, anyway, I, w I had not planned on doing a video. Um, and then I saw that uh, the Netflix Luke Cage uh, was canceled or more correctly, not renewed. Um, so uh, Iron Fist, same news came out last week. Um, uh, with the Netflix uh, shows, um, if I remember correctly, it's, what was the order? Was it Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist? I think it was like that. And then it was Punisher, and there was Defenders, and then they've been double and tripling it up. Uh, uh, Daredevil, I think, <laughs> I think um, season three just came out like yesterday. And I got to tell you, I'm ready for them all to go away. <laughs> like, I feel like they had some successes but they learned the wrong lessons and they just got really, really arrogant and they didn't quite. So it, it gets a little complicated and I'm not an expert on it, but there's different fiefdoms in Marvel. There's like Marvel Comics and then there's the Netflix Marvel and then there's Marvel Studios um, and uh, each one of them kind of wants to. And then there's the Marvel TV shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's kind of like, a, I forget which side that one goes to. But they all want to kind of like stake their claim and do their own take on uh, Marvel characters. And I heard some someone say something because uh, they said basically the movies are for normies and the Netflix shows are for the fans. And I go, no, no, they're both for normies. Basically, they take two different... Uh, takes to go to normies the marvel comics takes you know basically the will smith formula big bombastic a lot of jokes bright colors and the uh the netflix basically goes for like the people who watch billions or sneaky pete or something like that um they're filmed uh in new york city which is expensive but it gives a lot of flavor although as far as i know actually i remember when i used to live in new york city briefly um uh, it was pretty cool because the uh, defenders, they have this, the, the bad guys have this tower and it was just a couple blocks away. So it was pretty cool to watch the episode and then go walk over there. Although they got my neighborhood all wrong. It, I lived in Hell's Kitchen. They're always talking about like crack dens and hovels. I'm like, what? What kind of crackhead can afford over $2,000 for the poor? Come on now. Uh, even with rent control, they just would have figured a way to get rid of that guy. But the thing about the Netflix, the biggest thing that bothered me is that um, they felt entitled. Uh, they would have a story, and sometimes they had a really good story. Jessica Jones season one was actually pretty darn good. But there was a commonality, commonality to all of them. They would have really, really slow starts. They would... Uh, have like maybe like a core group of like four to five, maybe six or seven good episodes in a row where you're just really, really binging. And then usually the last couple episodes, you were just kind of waiting for it to get over. I remember Jessica Jones season one, like they almost could have ended the story, I think like episode nine or something. And then there was, I remember like episode 10 was a complete dud waste of time. And then they're like, okay, we got to wrap things up. They never really... Um, and I'm not sure why they do this because 
you know, with the old school TV programming, you were kind of hammered into like September through um, May. You had to have, you know, a new show every week. There were breaks for holidays and stuff like that. But I think the average was like 22 to 26 episodes per season. But a Netflix season can be freaking anything. Now, there might be some really, really boring economies of scale where they say, you know, to crew up a show, it's not worth it to just do a six issue miniseries. But I don't know. They do. I don't feel like that's right. I just feel like somebody said, we're going to make Netflix series. They're going to be 11 to 13 episodes. And that's the standard. And I can't really think maybe Daredevil season two actually warranted like the entire like there was a, just a lot of stuff that happened in Daredevil season two intro the Punisher and had Elektra and, and it, uh, I think that was the one that had a lot more stick in it uh, but it was good and it was really really full but man I remember Daredevil season one there was like a whole subplot of Karen sitting in an auction for used office furniture which led to x y and z I was like what what are you, what are you doing like how do you write this how do you write this down on a page? You know, how do you sit there in the, the, the story meeting with all the writers before it's handed to, you know, the one or two people who do the finished script? They're like, oh, man, it's like it's not jury duty. We're not. I, I kind of feel like at some point they say, well, people like Marvel and they'll just they're going to watch. So it's like lowered expectations on entertainment. Not to say there hasn't been some amazing stuff in these things, but they really should have said we're going to write a story and it's going to be the length that is appropriate for the story quite honestly that iron fist season one i liked a good amount of it they could have done that whole season in six episodes you know uh probably you know i don't know eight or so for daredevil what did i wait did i say iron fist could have been done in like six episodes daredevil season one could have been done in you know like eight or nine um uh jessica jones again about eight and it was just i don't know like one of the big problems also is they got really there they were all overpraised which is funny because this is the thing you gotta remember in life and this goes for every single thing the per person who overpraises you will hate you eventually that's how it worked i remember being in the marines and, and I, like, I was working with this one LT, and then I kind of got seconded. There, you know, it's kind of a boring story. These two LTs, they were kind of fighting, and I was kind of going back and forth from their different um, commands, which is... Um, but one guy, he was just complimenting. I mean, I was, like, the greatest NCO he ever met. And I just, the whole time I was doing I go, this, yeah. This, first of all, I don't deserve this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Second of all, nobody really deserves this level of praise. Uh, of praise. Third of all, anyone who overpraises me this much will turn on me and will hate me. And it absolutely happened. The, the, the LT who had kind of a mild appraisal of me, hey, he's, he's all right. Um, you know, uh, he kind of stayed. And uh, the guy who loved me then ended up hating me and, and sending me back. But that's how it, I mean... These came out the gate and the, the, the reviews for all of them were just over the top. And honestly, the same thing, I found pretty much the same thing among, you know, fans. Uh, like I said, there is this kind of thing in fandom where there's some things that you're allowed to have a variety of different opinions on. You're pretty much allowed to, like, think whatever you think about, you know, I don't know, the first three X-Men movies. Or the first two. You can like them or hate them. But, like, you have to to hate X-Men 3, The Last Stand. Um, and it was this thing with uh, Netflix where it's like, you, the, all the critics were overpraising it all to hell. And then even in fandom, it's like, well, you don't like this? It's like, I mean, Jessica Jones, I know Zach's in watching. He was just like, meh. Um, I don't hear people talking about it. Daredevil season one, people were talking about it. Um, uh, Jessica Jones, you know, it was a, whatever they call it, water cooler. But these last few episodes or, you know, seasons of everything, nobody, nobody cared. The F Defenders should have been a two hour movie. Just, you know, Netflix does two hour movies. They did Bright, you know, that one with Mil Will Smith. You do a two hour movie, you cut to the freaking chase and you just entertain us and then leave. 
that's the thing. You entertain us, and then you didn't entertain, and then like you're four or five ish or episodes in. What are you gonna do? You're gonna quit? I mean, I actually did do that with Punisher. Punisher, I was like, I don't know, three or four episodes in, he was like fixing a, a headlight on microchip's wife's car. He was fixing the sink. The girl was helping him. Like, what what is this? I I understand. You can't just start... I mean, if you want to be technical, the Punisher... What was it? The second movie, The War Zone? That was basically... They did average 1990s Punisher comic as a movie. And honestly, I didn't like it that much. It felt kind of stupid and silly when you saw it in live action. But they went to the far, far extreme of uh, making everything too realistic, too stretched out... There was always kind of this like depressive air. Like they filmed in New York City and yet they did not get the feel of New York City. New York City has two things. It's very, very exciting. It's very extreme and it's very exhausting. <laughs> but it is not depressing or sad or boring. Like how can you film like literally like crossing the streets like exciting. I used to, it's coming out of my building every day i'd look over wow this is so cool um i didn't get that feeling i just got this dour sad feeling that's again that's not marvel so um and i and i liked i liked a lot of bits from iron fist i even liked parts of the ones that you were supposed to hate um because there was this stupid controversy where iron fist was supposed to be cast as an asian because only asians can do martial arts which is in itself racist but uh anyway so um and then, obviously, when this first started, people were excited. They are like, oh, they're going to intro the street-level uh, characters, and then we might see them in the movies. But, again, that fiefdom thing, it doesn't sound like that will ever happen. Um, so, I'm good. I can kind of see, just the way Daredevil started it, that Daredevil might end it. I can see Daredevil getting to season four. But the other thing that just kind of kills me and actually kind of shocks me, too, is, like... <laughs> I have, I, like, Daredevil was my boy back in high school. And, like, that was my favorite character. The Frank Miller stories, the, the Anne Nascenti stories, they were very, very crucial to, like, my development as a person. Like, especially the Anne Nascenti ones. And the idea that I would be, like, I'll get to it. I don't even remember if I added it to my list. Like, I, you know, I've got some stuff. Like, it's just weird because I've just been... It's going to sound corny. I've been hurt too many times. I've been bored too many times. <laughs> Freaking Luke Cage season one. I think I got two or three episodes in. And then I skipped like six episodes. And I absolutely was not lost at all. Um, as far as SJW issues, they were there. But I didn't think they were that big of a deal. Um, I think it was mainly more of like just the... Yeah, probably Punisher... Season one was the one that I noticed it the most, but it, it was more just boring. I, I think they were also going for a female audience because they thought that they more made it more about like, you know, interpersonal relationships. Eh. I think women go to superheroes to see stuff like in the movies. So what would I have done differently? Well, uh, I would have said I, with every single one, the length of the season would have been to the story and not just the story of all the subplots and in Karen Page sitting in and and watching people bid on office furniture and then a freaking and th 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 it wasn't even just the episodes there was two there were scenes I remember a scene where Karen was talking that there was a woman in Spanish and there was a the landlord and this and that the thing is if you watch like Again, like billions. If you watch like network TV or even the more popular cable shows, watch those scenes, man. Those things are going to be like two to four minutes each scene. I think that scene was like eight minutes. It went on for freaking ever. I was dying. And I'm like, okay. So, yeah. So, I'm fine with them going. Um, uh, I don't care about Punisher season two. I, I didn't finish... Punisher season one. I think I think they're I think they're gonna announce. Have they? I don't know what's up with Jessica Jones. I can't see that one get another series. Nobody talked about season two. 
I'd say if you haven't planned on wrapping it all up in whatever's the next one, I think Punisher just finished filming. Just wrap it up in Daredevil season four. You, you had a good run. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. The CW superhero shows are started before you and they're going to outlast you. But again, those things, as dumb as they are, they're fun. They can be very, very fun. It is hard to find one episode out of any of those shows that doesn't have a light, silly, fun moment that will entertain you. Um, uh, I dipped out of those not because I got bored, but just because they got a little too silly and too repetitive. I mean, once the entire cast of Arrow is a superhero of some kind, once everyone in The Flash has superpowers, I go, okay, this is silly. I I mean, honestly, I I say this before. I'm going to wrap this one up. I will put Arrow season one up against any, any season of any of the Netflix superhero shows, or it's hard to even call them superhero shows, Netflix Marvel shows. But anyway, tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about the, the Netflix Marvel shows. Why did they not last as long as, well, I guess with the DC, with the CW DC shows, they have like all the DC characters pretty much. I mean, a couple they can't touch like uh, Wonder Woman and uh, Batman, but it looks like they might even be having a Superman. I'm that'll be great I thought that guy did a great job um uh blanking on his name anyway so thanks for watching subscribe make sure you're still subscribed hit the bell for notifications thanks to everyone uh given to the Patreon and Indiegogo those things are going out the door I think I hit 2,000 today um and I'll have uh some new comic reviews up tomorrow thanks bye